Hey Matt, how's it hey, going? Good, how you doing? Good to see you again. Nice to see you. Hey, Matt's going to show us a little bit about what they do with some of the sheet metal components that they get from engineering. So let's go walk over to some of the machine tools and see, and well, see what cool. this is all about. Let's huh? go take a look. All right. This is what we're cutting out right now. Nice. So how big of a sheet can you cut with this? Oh, this machine's capable of cutting a 5 by 10 sheet. How thick? Uh, three quarter, three quarter inch steel. And it's just laser burning through it's it, just right? laser. Just, just so beam, not a lot of slag then either, right? Just a beam of light. No, not yeah. a lot of slag. I mean, this is a this is a typical part that comes off the machine. It's that's the way it comes off the machine. So this is this hasn't been deburred. This hasn't no. been put through anything. Look at that. Look how clean that cut is. So this is the part we're cutting right now. Yep. Uh, you know, from here. It's ready to go bend. So you get these profiles, it's ready to go right to the brake right now, right? It's ready to go bend right now. So you get these profiles basically from engineering. How, how do you go about doing that? Uh, this is an inventor model. So you get you get you tap into the vault, you get tap it down from the inventor, you flatten it out, huh? Flatten it out. Just a flat pattern. Yeah? It's ready to, you know. Let's go have a look. Let's go. Uh, all right. Well, you just showed me all, all those machine tools and actions, man. What what about, um, how do you get the information out of Inventor, in this case, you can see you have Inventor open, mm -hmm. out, to the, uh, out to the machine tools, man? Well, I've got Inventor here, we've got it, I've got it open. Uh, the, our engineering group, the, uh, the, all, the, our, all the files are in, uh, the, in, in the vault, so I know I'm getting the latest and greatest version of the file. We've got a part here that's, that's uh, a typical sheet metal part. Mm -hmm. So with these with these form parts from uh, that you get from engineering, you need to be able to flatten those, these things out. You don't cut them in the folded form. No, right? no. We're looking at a 3D version of this part right now. Mm -hmm. uh, let's create a flat pattern. So with one button, you can just go ahead and say, yeah, go ahead and flatten that, that, that thing out. One button, flat pattern. There we and go. And it's accurate to the point that you can DXF this thing out right here and put it to the table. It's good to go, right out of right out of the box, nice. right out of inventor. I take that flat into my nesting software, and if I'm happy with the way it nested, in this case, and I'm you can right. bring multiple profiles into the oh, yeah. sheets to yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm getting clean geometry out of inventor. I don't have to sit there and you know wonder if the geometry is going to come in, if I'm going to have to do any clean up. It, it, I'm nesting parts. I'm making parts. So basically. What I'm gathering here, you've got this all laid out already. You can go from engineering to flat to DXF to nest to machine in what an hour? Oh, less probably less than an hour, depending on the part. Uh, if the machine's already set up to cut that material, we're you know we're, we're in a lot of cases less than less than an hour. Nice. 15, 20 minutes for making parts. 15, so. 20 minutes for making parts. I love it. All right, man. Yeah. Hey, well, thanks a lot for your time, Rob. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it, and uh, I'll I'll be back a little later. And you can show me all the other things that you're doing with those DVD files, all right? Stop by anytime. All right, thanks, guys. All right. Next, I'm going to hook up with Robert to see how he designs the parts that make all the parts and shows me a project that saved the company over 800 hours while improving product quality. Stay tuned.